You're over 60, and your doctor just added another blood pressure pill to your Losartan. It can feel confusing, even frustrating. You might wonder, is my blood pressure getting worse? Or am I being over-medicated? Here's the surprising truth. When doctors combine Losartan with a water pill called hydrochlorothiazide, or HCTZ, it's not because treatment is failing. It's because your heart and arteries change with age. And this combination can protect you in ways a single pill can't. In this video, you'll learn why this combination helps prevent morning blood pressure spikes, when strokes happen most, how it balances potassium to keep your heart rhythm steady, who should and should not take it, and what symptoms deserve a callback to your doctor. A quick disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only, not personal medical advice. Always consult your healthcare provider before making any medication changes. Now, let's talk about the real reason doctors make this change after 60. As we grow older, our blood vessels don't behave the same as they did in our 40s or 50s. They slowly become stiffer, especially the large arteries that carry blood from the heart. This stiffness causes something called isolated systolic hypertension, where the top number of your blood pressure rises higher than the bottom number. That shift is important, because a high systolic pressure is directly linked to a higher risk of stroke, heart failure, and kidney damage in older adults. And treating it often takes more than one approach. Losartan is an excellent start. It relaxes blood vessels and protects the kidneys over time. But for many seniors, it can't fully control the extra fluid the body holds onto as we age. Why is that? Our kidneys become less efficient. We may eat more salt than we realize. And hormones that raise blood pressure can stay active, even when we're already on medication. That's when doctors add a second medicine. Hydrochlorothiazide, or HCTZ for short. It's a gentle water pill that helps your body release excess sodium and water. Here's where the combination becomes smart. Losartan widens the vessels. HCTZ lowers the volume of blood inside them. So your heart doesn't have to pump as hard. Two different pathways. One shared goal. Protect your brain, heart, and kidneys. And there's another benefit your doctor is thinking about. HCTZ can sometimes lower potassium. Losartan does the opposite. It helps keep potassium in balance. Together, they often even each other out while giving stronger blood pressure control. So if you're over 60 and your doctor adds this combination, it isn't a sign of worsening health. It's a sign of smarter, more personalized protection. Because the goal isn't just to lower the numbers today. It's to keep you steady, stable, and safe for years to come. There's a time of day when high blood pressure becomes more dangerous, and most people don't even realize it. For older adults, blood pressure often rises sharply in the early morning, just before and after waking up. Doctors call this the morning surge. It happens because the body releases hormones like cortisol and adrenaline to help you wake up and get moving. In someone with stiff arteries, that surge can become too strong. The heart suddenly has to push against higher pressure and the blood vessels in the brain are under more stress. That's why so many strokes and heart attacks in seniors occur in the morning hours. It's not about the numbers during the day. It's the spike when no one is watching. Now here's where the Losartan and HCTZ combination makes a real difference. Losartan works throughout the day to relax and protect the arteries. But in the morning, fluid shifts in the body can still drive pressure up. HCTZ helps control that fluid, so the morning surge becomes much more manageable. Together, they provide a two-layer shield. One medicine keeps your arteries open the other reduces the pressure inside them. Instead of a sudden jump, 
your blood pressure rises gently and stays controlled. That steadiness is crucial for protecting your brain and heart as you age. And there's another advantage. Morning spikes often don't show up at the doctor's office. Your clinic reading may look fine, but your home readings tell the real story. That's why doctors often recommend checking blood pressure at home, especially early in the day. If those numbers are higher in the morning, it's a signal that a single medication may not be enough anymore. Does this mean everyone over 60 needs a combination number? Treatment is personal. But when your doctor sees a pattern of morning hypertension, switching to Losartan plus HCTZ is one of the most proven ways to protect you. The goal isn't just to lower blood pressure at noon. It's to smooth out the risky spikes when your heart is most vulnerable. So when your doctor adds this second pill, they're not simply upping the dose. They're taking away the element of surprise, the quiet moment in the morning when high blood pressure can do the most harm. Not every person over 60 needs this combination, but there are certain situations where doctors strongly prefer it because the benefits outweigh the risks. If you have stage 2 hypertension, when both blood pressure numbers are high, a combination like Losartam and HCTZ often controls pressure better and faster. It's also especially helpful for seniors with isolated systolic hypertension, the common pattern where the top number is high but the bottom number stays normal. This pattern can put intense strain on your heart and brain. Doctors also turn to this combination in people with obesity. More body fluid means more pressure. Salt sensitivity, common in older adults. Type 2 diabetes or kidney concerns because Losartan protects the kidneys. And morning hypertension, the most dangerous kind for stroke risk. If any of these apply to you, your doctor likely isn't adding medication just because. There's a clear clinical purpose behind it. Now, just as important as who should take this combination is who should avoid it or use it only with careful monitoring. If you've ever had very low sodium or potassium levels, chronic gout with frequent flares, severe kidney disease where fluid balance is fragile, or repeated dizziness or falls with blood pressure medications, your doctor may choose a different approach or adjust the dose slowly with more frequent lab checks. And while the combination is generally safe, interaction with other medications matters. Regular use of NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, can make both drugs less effective and strain the kidneys, especially in older adults with dehydration or illness. That's why it's so important to communicate. Tell your doctor about every medication you take, even over-the-counter pain relievers or supplements. Everything counts when it comes to protecting your kidneys and heart. The good news. Most people who take Losartan with HCTZ tolerate it very well when monitored properly. Fewer pills, steadier pressure, and a lower chance of silent complications over time. So if your doctor recommends this combination, it isn't a one-size-fits-all decision. It's personalized to your blood pressure pattern, your age, your kidneys, and your long-term health goals. The real aim is not just to treat today's numbers, but to prevent tomorrow's problems. Quietly, in the background, day after day. Every medication has potential side effects. That's especially true for treatments that change blood pressure and fluid balance. The key to staying safe is knowing what to watch for and when to take action. With the Losartan and HCTZ combination, most side effects are mild and improve over time. You may urinate more often, that is expected. You may feel a bit lightheaded when standing. That's your body adjusting to healthier pressure. Take your time when getting up. But there are also signs you should pay closer attention to. If you notice increasing dizziness or confusion, muscle cramps that don't go away, irregular heartbeat or fluttering sensation, or swelling, 
suddenly worsening in your feet or legs. Those symptoms may mean your sodium or potassium has moved out of the safe range or that kidney stress is starting to appear. That's when you call the doctor sooner rather than later. There are also a few changes you may not feel, but your labs will show. That's why doctors check your blood two to four weeks after starting or adjusting treatment, and then every three to six months after that. They are watching three critical markers. Sodium, too low causes weakness and confusion. Potassium, too high or too low affects your heartbeat. And kidney function, to ensure your kidneys remain protected. These tests make sure the treatment is helping, not harming. And one more thing, your home blood pressure readings matter. Morning numbers that stay high or sudden jumps you can't explain are early warning signs your plan needs to be adjusted. Remember, report problems before they become emergencies. You are not bothering your doctor, you are partnering with them. Side effects do not mean the treatment is wrong. They simply tell us what your body needs next. Controlling blood pressure isn't just about today's numbers. It's about protecting your future. This combination medicine works quietly as a shield for your body. Losartan relaxes stiff arteries, easing the workload on your heart and lowering the risk of heart failure as you age. HCTZ reduces extra fluid and morning spikes, taking pressure off your kidneys with every steady reading. Over time, that silent protection adds up. Fewer strokes, fewer emergencies, and more years of living independently. But to unlock that protection, two things matter most. Consistency and personalization. One pill is easier to remember than two, and that simple routine keeps you safe day after day. It prevents the silent creep of missed doses that lets high blood pressure sneak back in. And if your numbers change, whether from stress, fewer steps, a new illness or a new medication, your treatment can change too. Adjusting the plan isn't a setback. It's your doctor making sure the medicine fits your life today, not last year. You're not just taking a pill, you're taking control. And you're choosing protection that moves with you, so you can keep doing what you love with confidence. High blood pressure doesn't warn you before it causes trouble. There are no alarms, no obvious symptoms, until the moment something serious happens. But you're already doing something powerful. You're learning. You're staying consistent. And you're working with your doctor, not against the plan. There may be times when your dosage changes or your pills are adjusted based on new readings. That isn't failure. That is active protection. Every routine morning reading, every pill taken on time, every check-in with your doctor is an investment in your future health. And you don't have to do this alone. Clear guidance gives you confidence. Confidence to stay independent and enjoy life without letting silent risks catch up to you. If this video helped you understand why doctors add hydrochlorothiazide to losartan after age 60, please give it a like so more seniors can learn this life-saving information. And if you want to go deeper and truly take charge of your medication safety, continue watching the full playlist right here. Losartan and Combination Therapy – Doctor Guide for Seniors Inside that playlist, you'll discover when two medicines are safer than one. Dangerous interactions seniors must avoid. What to ask at your next doctor visit. And how to stay protected for the years ahead. Keep steady. Keep informed. Keep moving toward better health. Thank you for watching. Take good care of yourself.